So I pressure the cold foot and I transfer it to that pot here. I'm gonna season it up like onion, tim not tomato, sweet pepper, garlic. Season up the cold foot like I that season up meat. You yeah, understand what I say? Yeah, adjust your flavors and everything. I'm doing this with some gungo rice and peas. I'm going to season up that, the gungo with skeleton and thyme, coconut milk. And you know, I'm going to have to rinse out the residue well, if you're not a can. Because if you ain't Jamaican, if you are a Jamaican, you got to do that. If you don't do that, I don't think you're a real Jamaican. And I said what I said. Yeah, them two scotch bonnet here did in the freezer. So I'm going to just, just throw them in the pot. So after that boil up for a little minute or so, for one, I don't really mean one minute, you know. But just mean like a few minutes to make the coconut milk and everything go and boil out. You add in your rice. Yeah. And after you put in your rice, you're going to stir that up. I don't know why I use two different spoons here. So. But anyway, I stir that up and cover it down. After I cover that down, I'm going to move and see what's going on with the cold food. So, you know, so it's easy to itch by them time here, you know. Yeah, so you stir it up and you add on your broad bean and you mix it up over one pot. Over this with a little pot there, I'm going to make potato salad so the, um, the Irish are going to boil. Cold food look nice, don't it? Yeah, and this is not something I would eat too often because I don't really like it, you know. But I feel like I did want to eat some cold food. I know, say, side note, I honestly feel like I prefer the gravy with the food than the meat. Yeah, for the potato salad, I only added one egg to that. Cold foot don't cook. Set that aside. Now to this part with the potato and the egg, I'm going to add some mixed vegetable. I'm going to just sink that down and make that boil up a little bit because it's not going to take too long. Rice done cooking now. Potato salad, I'm just going to add the egg and some mayo. I was thinking about butter, but then me I said, "Chew me in at the gym, and me I try work on the belly, the belly part." This up, me I say. Me not really want to hold it on, but why I just feel like it did want a little bit more mayo. Yeah, man. I'ma just add some mayo and add a little bit of black pepper. I'ma mix that up, and then me that try if you not add no butter, but honestly. I'm just gonna melt one little bit in and I don't know what I'm just melt one little bit of butter and pour over it because I just know that everything butter going to taste good. <laughs> like, I'm gonna overpower it with the butter, but I just feel like it needed a little bit more, like a something. So I'm just melt a little bit of butter and pour it over it. Then I just mix it up. Not mix it up too much because you don't want the potato, potato for really, really mash up. You see how that look good? Now it's time to fluff the rice because it finished cook and the rice not plaka plaka. Yeah, it good enough for eat. It not tough. It's soft and everything and nice. I know. And put it a salad garnish with a little bit of parsley. Look at Ribena beside plate. Watch pear. Look for good food. Mmm. <laughs> feel like when i eat some of this no let me know what you guys think in the comment section don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell please thank you bye